Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. I hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Thank you for watching this clip on solving an exponential equations. Exponential equations are not kind of fun to solve, so long as you can reduce them into a manageable things to solve, either linear equation or quadratic. So in our case here, let's uh, let's uh, make it a little easier to see. We're going to do a substitution for a variable, and then we have let u is equal to this. Then you have variable u plus 125 times 1 over u because u to the minus 1 would be equal to 5x to the minus 1, which is equal to 5 to the minus x. Okay. This one is also equal to 1 over 5 to the x. This one is probably one of the most important part for this particular problem because unless you recognize 5 to the minus x is really 1 over 5 to the x, then you're going to get stuck on this problem. All right, once we get here, it's pretty easy. We're going to treat this one as a finding a common denominator, which is u. We're going to reduce this one, or actually simplify the u squared plus 125 divided by u because this is really u over 1. Okay, so I multiply the top and the bottom with u, so I can combine u squared equal to uh, plus 20, 125 equal to uh, u squared plus 120 divided by u equal to 30. Okay, so from here, I'm going to do this thing called a butterfly to get myself out of the fraction. I don't know about you, I don't like equations with the fractions in it. So this one would allow me to cross multiply u squared plus 125 times 1. That's equal to 30 times u. Okay, now here you recognize right away, hopefully, that this is just a simple quadratic. We're going to factor u minus 5, u minus 25, give us the answer. Okay, so we're almost there, u equal to 5 or u equal to 25. Now substituting back, we're going to get our answer for the x. Take a quick math break because we're almost there. Picture this. This was in a photo contest. <laughs> Back to math. So u equal to 5 or u equal to 25. Since u is equal to 5 to the x, we have two parts. We have 5 to the x is equal to 5, which gives us x equal to 1, or what's this chunk, or we have 5 to the x is equal to 25, and x, of course, equal to 2. Okay, so here is the answer, x equal to 2 or x equal to 1. All right, that's how we handle this type of problems. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if the video has been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.